Hi everyone, it's Gabby. Welcome to my channel. Today it is going to be an update for my um, 10 in 2020 rolling project pen. So yeah, today I've got two empties and I'm super excited. And those are actually the first two products in my list. Well, not, not technically, but kind of the first two products. So first, I've got two blushes from this little palette right here. And as you can see, this one is completely gone. I'm super happy. You will see where they were last time, of course. But the other one, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but you see there, it's getting lower and lower. So I'm happy about it. I honestly think I might have pen in this one by next update. I don't know. This one was part of the original blush that was in here and it has been franken with um, some shades that are in the wear in my pen that palette um, for this year. And uh, yeah, I want to, this is only part of what I wanted to get done of this one. So yeah, technically I had this in it in this jar um this is where it was but yeah whatever so this one is done this one is getting there I, i'm quite confident with this one uh moving on i have my second empty and that is my foundation and uh as you can see it is all done uh, you will see what it was last time. There was not a lot left of this one. In fact, I think it took just one or two weeks of use to completely get this one done. And I'm kind of sorry that I have the uh, powder foundation out, but because now I will have to use my cream liquid stuff. Um, I do enjoy the powder one more uh, because they are lighter on your skin and um, yeah, I don't know, enjoy them more, so that's it. Um, I really enjoyed this one, but it was getting a little lighter for me, so right timing, really nice timing with this one. And for those two products, I will be rolling in new products that I will just talk about at the end, like after I finish um, the list I have. This video is all over the place, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, moving on, let's try to get our ourselves together, you know? Okay, so, next, I have, I have this thing. As you can see on the screen, there is no progress whatsoever. I have used it, like, for a couple of weeks, but this one barely has progress when I use it consistently, consistently the whole month, let alone just two weeks. So... I really don't know what to do with this thing, honestly, because I'm so tired of it. I kind of want to just call it done and be over with it. But I'm so close that I really, really want to finish it. So, I don't know. I think I will just finish it, but it is taking so long. It's driving me crazy. Um, but yeah, there's that very disappointing product as always. The, I think this one will be not disappointing only when I finish it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, moving on, I've got my lash products. So first I have my um, lash Amazon primer and this one, uh, I don't have pictures of it. Uh, this one I was not using because I was using the cream, no, this is not cream, uh, the powder foundation and it is quite sticky and oily when you first apply it and it takes a while to dry down. Um, so that will get in the powder and make it not dry, wet, kind of, like more oily and that will get hard pan. So I was not using it for that reason but now I switched to liquid foundation and BB creams. So I am using this one and I don't know if my scale has something wrong because I don't feel like I've used it so, so much, but this one started at 30, no, 23 grams and is now at 18 grams. So it lost five grams. And I honestly think it's too much, but I'm not going to complain. So this one is getting more used even though I'm not using it like every single day, mainly because I forget about it. 
but also because I'm not putting foundation on every day, so there's that. Uh, moving on, I have my tonic water, also by Lush. This one was uh, 231 grams last month and is now 207, so progress progress it is 24 grams less than last month for a total of 69 grams of product used up in this project this one was ba basically brand new so it would take a while it is about here if i open it and look into it i feel like it is about here so there is still a lot to go but you know, progress is progress and I'm happy about it. Uh, this one I feel like would be one of those products that would just sit in my collection if it wasn't for a project pen, so I'm happy I'm using it. And then my last uh, Lush product is this one, as you probably already know, I love this thing. It is the Ocean Salt uh, Scrub Face Scrub. And um, this month it doesn't have a lot of progress for some reason I don't know I don't feel like I've scrubbed a lot less but apparently I have so usually this loses around 40 grams a month this month it lost just 40 no 21 21 yes 21 grams so for a total of 114 grams so I am about halfway through this because it is uh, 250 grams and you can also see from the um, the packaging, how do you call this, um, for that, that I'm almost halfway through this, so I don't know what happened with that, I don't know if my scale has some troubles today, but I don't know, we're gonna go with it, that's the only way we have to measure this thing, so I don't know if I said how much this weighs, it's 155 grams, so that is nice. Moving on, I have my last, no, I forgot a product. Anyway, I will do this one and then we'll grab it. No, I'm just messing this up, am I? Um, anyway, this is my Revolution Hyaluronic Acid. And this one <laughs> got a lot of usage this month. So I was at the green line and I'm now at the smudged pink line so there is just not much left because as you can see here it's just glass so I just have the tiniest little bit left I think it will be over by next update so that is nice to have an empty for next month and I'm very happy so now I have the product that is actually my last uh, skincare product that I am missing so I will go grab that and be right back so here is my um, eye cream this is by Revoile and I have made a new marking for this one last month I was not really able to I think there was some sort of air bubble the product was all over the place so I could not really see I mean I could see through the whole bottle so I didn't really know where the product was but now I can actually see so I am around here so there is not a lot of pro progress um, uh, line wise but there is some progress weight wise because this lost two grams it had lost the same amount last month so pretty consistent progress I guess so I lost a total of four grams which is not a lot but it is just eye cream you need just so much of it so uh, I mean I'm using it so it's fine and then moving on I have my black eyeliner that is this one by Primark and this is a very satisfying product because it goes so fast <laughs> um, it's really e easy to use and you know it just makes me happy when products do that uh, as you can see I have used quite a bit of this one and basically I've used it for the two weeks I've not used this one and this is going a lot faster it's a lot creamier and I do need to um, sharpen this one a lot more frequently I think I've sharpened this thing like two or three times this month usually I sharpen my pencils once twice tops 
and um, this one is really really creamy and honestly I should sharpen this one again um, but I mean still going so I will do that when I do that <laughs> uh, but yeah that was the last <clears throat> product sorry mm -mm. Okay, so that was the last product for this um, update, and now I'm going to fold in some new products. So first, for the blush that was in here, I'm rolling in another blush, <laughs> because why not? And it is this <laughs> giant pan, but it is a really thin one, so I'm gonna balance out. And this one contains, it's a Franklin blush, as you can probably tell. And it is made of part of this one that was a hot pink, like the color of my t-shirt, kind of pink, um, with, um, there are a lot of things in this thing because, you know, going from this color to a peachy one, <laughs> that was a challenge, but I, I am pretty happy with the result and it is what I'm on today, what I have on today and um, it is a pretty peachy shade, I like it. So this one has definitely a light like pink eyeshadow, um, a bronzy highlight and uh, like an orange, orange, yes, an orange um, blush in this one and also I have some more frankening in this one also with the orange blush and the um and the why can I not talk um and the highlighter and then I have a different um light pink eyeshadow in this one so um uh basically this one is <laughs> A pink eyeshadow I guess because the blush was already in the project <laughs> it's okay um, but yeah so I'm trying to finish this one that has a whole pink eyeshadow in it so that was the first part so technically it is an eyeshadow but it is a blush kind of thing um, and then I have a face palette instead of my um, Foundation. I cannot. I, I cannot do this today. Um, this one, I don't really have a focus shade for this one. I just want to get use out of it as a whole, not e even as a whole. Mainly these three shades because what I'm doing is when I'm not wearing foundation, I just mix mainly these two and make kind of a powder foundation thing. Kind of like a, a light veil of color, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, and I'm also using these shades to set down my foundation whenever I use it. So yeah, it's basically my face powder <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm not using these as bronzers whatsoever. I'm mixing these two because this one is way too dark. There is no way I'm using it. As a bronzer or anything else other than eyeshadow which I have a lot of dark brown eyeshadow so I don't really need that so I'm mixing these two and with a big fluffy face brush it doesn't show up so dark so I do have it on today and I mean it is okay it helps me and it gives me some flexibility to match my skin tone as it changes so um, I hope I can hit pan on at least one of these and uh, then uh, probably this palette will be rolled out when um, when my refresh arrives. That will be August, September, I don't know, I don't remember, but will be in the future. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And um, yeah, that was the last product. Yes, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I know this video was all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you did, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel so that we can keep in touch. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.